loser. William took Harry desired position in Queenswell, mocking him with coronation privilege. Upon the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, the British royal family underwent a significant restructuring, with its most senior members assuming new titles as the line of succession changed. As Prince Charles is now King Charles III, his son Prince William has taken on the titles of Prince of Wales and the former king's title, the Duke of Cornwall. Prince William acquired the Duchy of Cornwall estate, which was valued at more than £1 billion, $1.2 billion, at the end of March, with King Charles's succession to the throne. According to the estate, Edward III built the 685-year-old private estate in 1337 to offer independence to his son and successor. When the estate was established, a charter was created that stipulates that every future Duke of Cornwall, and owner of the land, would be the monarch's eldest surviving son. The 52,449 hectare estate's earnings, which come from a variety of sources like farms and property rentals, can be used whatever the current Duke pleases. Prince Charles decided to spend a considerable amount of his income from the duchy to meet the cost of his public and charity activity as well as the public and private life of his immediate family during his time as the Duke of Cornwall, the estate claims. Prince William is about to acquire a valuable asset in the duchy of Cornwall. King Charles got income from the estate in excess of £20 million, $23 million, last year. The Guardian claims that the king voluntarily paid the top rate of 45% income tax in the UK on his income from the duchy last year in response to growing outrage over the duchy's exemption from capital gains and corporation taxes. The late queen, who left behind a fortune of more than $500 million, is also expected to leave Charles himself a rich legacy, though it is unknown how the queen's possessions will be distributed among her four children. The king's net worth was thought to be around $440 million when the queen passed away. The British government and the British monarch have an agreement that exempts certain portions of the monarch's estate from the UK's 40% inheritance tax if they are left to the heir to the throne. As a result, whatever he inherits from his mother will be tax-free. In another news, a protester who called the royals a waste of money heckled the king, but royal supporters soon retaliated with a royal visit jam-packed with events. The Prince of Wales will kneel to pay homage to his father the King at the coronation next week, following in the footsteps of his grandfather the late Duke of Edinburgh, who famously swore to be Queen Elizabeth II's liege man of life and limb during her ceremony in 1953. The heir to the throne is the only member of the royal family who will pay the homage of royal blood, also described as the words of fealty, after the Archbishop pays his own homage on behalf of the Church of England. In a statement, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, who is responsible for the new liturgy, said, I am delighted that the service will recognize and celebrate tradition, speaking to the great history of our nation, our customs, and those who came before us. At the same time, the service contains new elements that reflect the diversity of our contemporary society. It is my prayer that all who share in this service, whether they are of faith or no faith, will find ancient wisdom and new hope that brings inspiration and joy. A spokesman for Lambeth Palace said, These new elements have been chosen to express the theme of loving service that lies at the heart of the Christian faith and contemporary monarchy, and to represent and celebrate the diversity of our nation today.